Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video who happens to be a YouTuber. Her name is Jody, and her YouTube channel is Toy Attic. And she has fantastic bolo. So I'm really excited about this video. I've got a bunch of uh, tabs pulled up and we are ready to go. And I'm going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. And I think some of these are going to be a little bit surprising. Um, most of these are toys. There are a few that are not. But um, definitely a fun video, especially since that's kind of an area that I'm hoping to learn more about and expand my eBay store and posh and not really posh, but Mercari. I love toys. It's so fun. All right, let's get started here. Did I say thanks for watching? Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I don't know if I did. One of those days. Okay. I'm going to start by sharing her channel with you. Her channel is The Toy Attic, and she has lots of videos about different toys, a lot of vintage toys. Um, here's an unboxing she did that she bought from Donatella Bodolino's auction, which was really good. She got some cool stuff. One of those items is actually going to be featured in this video. She sold it within 24 hours. And we are going to get started here. So if you could please go subscribe to Toy Attic, I would greatly appreciate it. Her link is in the description of the video. And I just want to be sure, yes, that we are streaming. Okay. So the first item she sold is this vintage superstar fashion photo PJ Barbie doll with outfit necklace and it's a Steffi face. So she said, oh, I thought I had the page. Here it is. Okay. Found PJ at an estate sale for $3. I didn't know who she was until I saw your video with my reseller treasure. I sold her for $215. She was damaged. Otherwise, I think I could have gotten more. So, yes, this doll. Be on the lookout for sure. $215 best offer. Now, this is who she's talking about. I featured my reseller treasure. And Brandy has a fantastic YouTube channel that is going to teach you all about like Barbies and dolls and stuff like that. So these two ladies are great go-to channels for um, toys and Barbies. So definitely check both of them out. Again, this is My Reseller Treasure, and this is The Toy Attic. So uh, check them out. They'll help you learn. All right, so back to Jody's Bolos. The first item is this vintage Gale of the Golden West Cowgirl Cowgirl doll, 1958, in the box. Bought it in a state sale of a fellow reseller who has retired. She had five storage units full. I've been to three of her sales and bought hundreds of dolls. They are planning to have several more sales this spring. Hopefully it still happens. I paid seven for this and it sold for $70 in about two weeks. So very, very cool. And seven, that seems like a really good deal. And it's a fellow reseller, so you would think that they would know the value. Pretty interesting. All right, the next item is this vintage Little Miss Revlon clone ginger style fashion doll. And this came from, let's see, I paid $5 for her and two other dolls that were the same with different outfits. So three dolls for five bucks. She sold for 45. This was a strange pre-Barbie time when they wanted to make more fashionable dolls with curvy bodies, but they still had baby doll faces. Huh. Now, this Mickey Mouse American Original uh, Spirit Jersey size large Disney Parks. She said this wasn't a great deal. It was an RA pickup, paid 30 and ended up selling for 45 after many months. I've sold lots of these Spirit Jerseys very quickly, but they aren't as popular as they used to be. They still sell, but the prices are lower, so I couldn't pay nearly as much. So, my thought on this is. It's still a good share because you may see one of these at a garage sale, okay? So definitely pick it up if you find it cheap, but don't overpay for it. So that is the lesson we can learn from Jody on this one. The next is this mid-century modern space age vintage tabletop. Huh, that's interesting. So this came from an estate sale. She paid $15 for it. I couldn't find any comps on it, she said. 
and she just bought it because it looked cool. Sold for $50 in a week. The next item is this vintage, uh, it's like a, a quilted like pocket purse. I didn't, is that like Hello Kitty? Might be Hello Kitty. It's, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Is it Sanrio? I think it might be, but Hello Kitty. I know Sanrio does a lot of Hello Kitty. This is definitely vintage. Um, says Melody, my Melody. I bought this in a tub full of vintage baby clothes and cabbage patch clothes. The whole tub was full dollar. $4. I made hundreds on the tub. I didn't list the purse for the longest time because I thought it was homemade, but I discovered it had a 1976 tag. 70s and 80s Senrio Sen items can sell very well. All right. Teddy bear. Uh, this is a Fisher Price security blanket plush, sometimes called a lovey. That's a good keyword to put in the title. This one was an estate sale find for $3 and it sold for $40 in a few days. This character is also found on bedding for a nursery and they sell really well too, the bedding. Awesome. 80s Fleer Trick or Treat Haunted Houses, candy container boxes. These are just candy container boxes, guys. And these are vintage boxes of candy. They are small, about three inches tall and look like haunted houses. I paid a dollar and I'm mistake putting them together in a group. I started the auction at $34.99, got one bid. Had I listed them separately, I would have gotten more. I thought they were rare enough to get interest, but I think that in these times it was a mistake. Okay. Yeah. So she's thinking she would have gotten more if she would have sold them separately. This is a nativity scene fabric cut and sew panel. And she got this at an estate sale for 50 cents. I've Four or six of these, I've sold four or six, four or six of these over the years. Sold this one for $30, buyer paid shipping. I told you guys she has very cool bolos. This is a Cabbage Patch Kid, um, and it's got the, the face that is um, cloth. And some of those can definitely be a bolo. Uh, this one is hand signed by Xavier Roberts in 1980. So that also helps. Uh, this is one of the handmade Cabbage Patch dolls, not a mass-produced one. It's hand-signed. I bought her for $20 and sold her for $75. I had her listed several months ago for several months, and she didn't sell. I realized she was no longer listed, relisted, and sold her in an hour. Not sure why, but I have tons of Cabbage Patches, tons of Cabbage Patch items lately. So, yeah, that's weird when your item just becomes unlisted. Not sure why that happens. I wonder how many items I have like that. Now, this is the adoption birth certificate for a Cabbage Patch Kid for the soft sculpture Aqua Marine Boy. Um, she said it came from the same handmade soft sculpture dolls. I originally sold six dolls and got six random birth certificates with them. It sold for $32.50. Birth certificates for mass-produced dolls don't sell more nearly, for, or I'm sorry, for nearly as much. So it's because it's the soft sculpture. This is a Madame Alexander doll, and she's new in the box, found at a random estate sale that was listed online, picked her up for eight bucks, sold for 75 in a few weeks. They had lots of other Madame Alexander dolls. This, the ones in the blue boxes there, but they don't often sell for more than 10. There are some that sell for more, but most don't. So what she's saying is check solds, check comps, don't just buy these um, unless you look them up because some of them have um, very little value unless you can get them super cheap and then, you know, it'd be a good bread and butter item. So this Disney Parks Aladdin shirt uh, came from Retail Arbitrage. I had five of them that I bought for 16 each. I sold the first one for 65 and the prices reduced somewhat on each sale. The last one sold for $37.50. This is vintage vinyl wallpaper, and it looks like she has one more left. It's mid-century modern. She said, I had this wallpaper forever and never listed it. I've been listing everything lately, so I finally looked it up and realized it would be worth something. It is a neat color with a shimmery gold running through it. 
No idea where I got it. It's been in the back of my closet for 10 years or more. Sold it for $45 in about a week, but I have two other rolls. So we'll see how that goes. That's always fun. All right. Reserved Mego Fashion Candy and Friends times three. So she sold a lot of three for $60. And she said, this is actually a listing I made for an international buyer who wanted three of these dolls I had for sale. I made a new listing to combine the shipping. The dolls were three each and I got 60 total for all three. There you go. The next item is this Takara uh, doll with a red kimono, Japan Barbie. And it says, I picked this up from a lady. I have ha bought tons of Barbie stuff from over the years. Her grandmother-in-law owned a Barbie museum. They are slowly selling off the museum collection, paid 30 and sold for 60. It took a few months. Wow, that's cool. Jenny World Collection China Doll, Mint Japan Rare. Jenny World, um, let's see, this doll was purchased from the same Barbie gal as above, paid 30 and sold for 60 to the same buyer. Now those are pretty cool. The next item is this Dolly Pops Pop Up or pop house, growing hair dolly pops. Never heard of these. Um, it's from Knickerbocker and it's sealed from 1982. Paid 15 at an estate sale and sold it for 65. These dolls don't necessarily sell well, but anything still sealed in the box is worth looking up. It took about a month to sell. All right, this is not the one I wanted to show you guys. The one I wanted to show you guys sold for $40, but it um, had exceeded its uh, time frame, so I couldn't pull it up anymore. And she said, I bought this little pen from a big lot of strawberry shortcake items I bought on Craigslist. Most of the items went to my personal collection, but there were some duplicates I was able to list. Uh, $1 paid, sold for 40 in a few days. And she said she, she says she has a video on this haul if you guys would like to go check that out. Again, her YouTube channel is Toy Attic. And I have it linked down below. But um, she sold two of these for $16.50, so plus shipping. So that's cool. But one of them sold for $40. This is a large watercolor paint tin box. Very cool. You can see it's not in excellent condition and it's still sold. Bought this from an independent thrift shop that I had never bought, been in before. Everything there was so expensive, but this was only $4. Sold in two weeks for $35 plus shipping. These are cool. These are vintage wrestling promo posters. Smoky Mountain Cactus Jack Rock and Roll Express. Uh, vintage regional wrestling stuff is in high demand right now. These two posters sold in a few days for $25. They came from my personal collection, so they were free. All right, these vintage pastel rainbow um, sheets. They came from... An estate sale, three bucks, sold in a few weeks for $30. And she said, Fairy Kai is a great word to use on vintage style pastel items. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Fairy, maybe it's Fairy Key? Kai? Not sure. It is a Japanese style of everything pastel. There you go. All right, here's the one she got from Donatella Bodolino's auctions. And if you guys have never seen one of Donatella's auctions, I have a link down in the description of the video. She bought this in a huge plush lot and it came to about $3.50 per item. It sold within an hour for $40 and she had it priced above the other comps. Definitely a cool bolo. And if you want to see the other plush she got in that haul, you can check out her um, unboxing video. These Korans are super cool. They are vintage. And she picked these up at a collectible show for three bucks. I found a Crayola collector's blog to find the date of the box. Oh, they sold in about a week for $35 plus shipping. This is super cool. It's 1992 Shining Time Wooden Thomas Train Painted Face Troublesome Truck. New in the box. You ready for this? Paid $1.50 at the last estate sale before the shutdown. Sold on auction for $91, but they canceled. So resold in two weeks for 80 bucks. Best offer. 
And here's another one, Thomas the Wooden Railway. This is from 1994. It's the Sodor Bay. And this one was the same estate sale and paid $1.50 for it. And it sold for $40 plus shipping. And this guy, Axtell Expressions, the Birds, Tina Takatu Puppet from 1991. Now, she said this is probably the third or fourth one of these I've found and sold. Paid $6 at an antique mall and sold for $95, but it took a year to sell. I would have to say that that was worth the wait. And then here is Toy Addicts eBay store. Again, I will link it down below in the description of the video. And I'm just going to show you some of the other cool items she has listed. So if you see something you like or would like to check out what else she has listed, definitely go down below and click on that link and check it out. I'm going to show you a couple pages here. This was a longer video because she had lots of cool bolos. But um, as always, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, please comment. I made it to the end of the video. Oh, I have one of these listed. I have mine listed way higher, but mine is like a minty green color. Super cool. So funny. I've never seen one before. And let's see what else we have. I decided to look at three pages because she has such cool stuff. I love these little dogs with the chains. So cute. I think I've sold one of these also. I like selling stuff like this. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out The Toy Attic and My Reseller Treasure for more videos about toys. And you guys are awesome. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that thumb. And you can give me a high five in the comments. You can say I made it to the end. You can tell me your favorite bolo. You can just say hi. But it helps bump me in the algorithm, so I really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Go watch another bolo video, and I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.